leading streaming platforms have set a subtitling standard which is now used by many media localization companies on all sorts of audiovisual content. Whether you can understand and successfully apply subtitling guidelines can make or break your career in subtitling. And yet many linguists struggle with a practical grasp of the guidelines. For instance, how to time the subtitle relative to the shot change, how to format the text properly, whether to translate proper names or convert the currencies. It is easy to get lost in all the details, misunderstand a rule or simply forget about something important. To be successful as a subtitler and to be able to keep working with high-level content, you need to understand and know how to apply in praxis various sets of subtitling guidelines. There are general guidelines, timing guidelines, language-specific guidelines or guidelines related to template creation or SDH. Many people struggle with mastering the guidelines. There's just so many details and exceptions and then this complex terminology. It is easy to get lost in all of it. When I first started working as a subtitler, I felt a bit intimidated by long guidelines and obscure lingo. I did read the guidelines carefully, but it was hard to memorize it all in one go. Over time, I found again and again that I forgot about or simply misunderstood a specific bit of instructions. And I lost lots of time thinking about borderline cases or searching for a helpful needle in a haystack of all these guidelines. And even if you memorize all the guidelines by heart, a specific piece of instructions can be understood or interpreted in different ways in different situations. Indeed, perhaps you have experienced that yourself in discussions with other subtitlers, on subtitlers forums or chats. Or maybe you had a discussion with your QCR where you both understood the guidelines differently. Sometimes rules clash and you have to prioritize one rule over another. You need to know which rules are more important and take precedence and how different rules complement one another. At AVT Masterclass we have seen numerous subtitlers struggling with understanding and applying subtitle guidelines. That's why we made this course. It will enable you to learn the guidelines step by step. The course includes video explanations, interactive tutorials and interviews with experts. Thanks to the course, you will master general subtitling guidelines as well as guidelines on timing subtitles. If you already have some understanding of subtitling guidelines, the course can serve as a recap so that you can make sure you fully understand all the instructions. In any case, you will be ready to pass our certification which will prove to your clients that you're a master of subtitling guidelines. We made this course to give you a helping hand. We divided the guidelines into more palatable chunks and we developed our interactive quizzes that will ensure you understand all the details. We added tips and comments that will be displayed as you go through the quizzes and will help you learn even more. Once you complete the lessons in this course, you can test your knowledge in the final certification. If you pass it, you can call yourself the Master of Subtitling Guidelines and you will receive a certificate to prove it. Becoming a Master of Subtitling Guidelines will improve the quality of your work. You will avoid guidelines-related errors and you will feel more confident about your subtitles. You will save loads of time by not having to look for a needle in a haystack or ask around subtitling forums. Your QCS and clients will appreciate that and you will have a higher chance of getting more and better subtitling projects. Are you ready to become the master of subtitling guidelines? <laughs>